In a tragic ritual, every morning since the accident, the city of Brumaginho buries its dead. The small cemetery at the São Sebastião Church will soon have no more room. Angela's son worked for Vali. He was in the company cafeteria when the dam broke. Her sister is still missing. <laughs> Most people who live here are close to someone who disappeared in the disaster. The company has just announced it will pay each victim's family around $27,000 in compensation. Do you think I want his money? That his money can redeem the life of my son? Even if they sold all their minds, the money would still not be worth the life of my son and my sister. All this dirty money earned at the cost of lives, that's what it is. On January 25th, sludge flooded out of the bowels of the earth. Nearly a million cubic meters of mine waste spilled over seven kilometers, destroying everything in its path. Brumaginho is looking for a culprit. The mining operator, Vali, was already involved in the Mariana Dam tragedy, the biggest ecological disaster Brazil has ever seen. Three and a half years later, history is repeating itself. Yet Vali says that the Brumaginho Dam was deemed stable by experts only a few months before. Diego Muniz is a truck driver who transported mine waste. Parte mais cinza. Diego was off work when the accident occurred. He takes us to the exact place where the dam gave way. In front of us is a crater more than 80 meters high. It's created a sort of thick crust with vegetation growing on top of it, so deep that it takes years to completely dry underneath. We all knew that the bottom of the dam was wet. It's nothing new. So now we're wondering if they lied or if they only told part of the truce during the inspection. In any case, this has caused so much harm. The dam has not received any new mining waste since 2015. But for this topographer used to working in the mines of the region, it should have been shut down much longer ago. This tool was used to measure the amount of water in the dam. The population lived far too close to these mining areas. It is very common in the region. The distances are much too short. So it is time to thoroughly review the installation system. A tragedy foretold, according to him. The National Mining Agency should inspect Brazil's 790 mining dams every year. But with only 35 inspectors, they checked only 3% of them last year. On this day in Brumaginho, the president of the Workers' Party came to see the damage. Glazy Hoffman was one of the authors of the Dam Safety Act of 2010. <laughs> Not long ago, the National Congress amended and relaxed the legislation that had been passed, which is horrible. Is that because of the strength of the lobby? It's because the majority of MPs decided to back this, and obviously because of lobbying from companies from the mining sector. That puts a lot of pressure on elected officials. Lobbying is illegal in Brazil, and it's been denounced for years by the social movement of dam victims. Mining companies are the ones who pay contractors for the environmental licensing process and also parts of the cost of inspecting the risk level of dams. So it's obvious that companies can do what they want and the state has a hard time controlling things. Add to that the exchange of favors between... Contacted several times, the company Vali did not answer our questions. The disaster in Brumaginho has traumatized the entire region. A hundred kilometers away, residents of the city of Congonhas gathered for a meeting. Many say they cannot sleep since the accident. In this state, Minas Gerais, 55 dams are classified as high risk, including that of Congonhas. Built 10 years ago, without a public consultation process, it overlooks Congonhas. It is seven times the size of the Brumaginho Dam. If it were to give way, it would swallow more than half of this mining town, which is classified as a World Heritage Site by UNESCO. 
this residential area would be entirely engulfed. Where Lei and his family have been fighting for 10 years to be relocated. Look, the dam is right up there. We can no longer live like this. It's completely irresponsible to have people in a city living with this time bomb right over our heads. And who can really guarantee this bomb will never explode? No one. Local courts have just banned the state of Minas Gerais from granting or renewing licenses for mining dams in the region. As Congress returns to session, government figures have promised to revise the law on dam safety.